It's flooding on 14. And we're here back with some more Duel Sotheroses. So let's just take on, we got 854. Uh, let's take on Weevil Underwood here. Start the duel. Try to get a nice little quick win, go for the reincarnation. And yeah, we'll do a little short part this time. So, all right, let's crank it a little bit back up. Wish me luck, guys. Hey, everybody. Uh, forest. It doesn't really do anything here. Uh, I'll play it though, just for the lols. Let's play it right here. Should I dump shield and sword? Probably. Just just to draw a few more cards. Don't really have anything that combos with it in this deck. The main purpose of it is actually to reveal what cards are monsters and what cards are not. Yeah, Shield of Sword actually has a secret effect in this game, so that's you know, if you get reincarnate it, that's pretty interesting. Also, I guess it could really help the opponent or completely screw them up or so. You know, everything you love in a card, right? Uh, the Cyber Commander. Uh, you know what? I'm okay running out uh, Metal Greymon here. Matter of fact, nah, I'll be a little more disciplined. I was thinking, like, let's step up and attack it, but we've seen him play the Man Eater Bug line before, so I'll just do that. Step to the side in my turn. Well, we got a fusion part, though. Regardless of what happens here, he could have Giant Flea, I don't know. All depends, really. Blade Fly. Yeah. I prefer Game Fly. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I made that same joke the first time I saw this monster in this LP. Uh, it's actually a good monster. We will just never use, seems to use the effect right. Win, sickle side. gonna run tears of the mermaid here behind yeah this was tears before tier elements guys Ooh. look at how powerful it is it's it's tier zero and all kidding aside let's end the turn <laughs> power increase yummy good thing i set a little trapezoid for you weevil looks like you just ran into my tears of the mermaid here's how it works your monster gets trapped in a water pool, and well then, it loses uh, mobility for a turn and is decreased by 600 points. Another trap card. Sounds good. Uh, let's set this right. Hey, let's, let's just attack with Cyber Stars. Let's just attack. What was this? A forest card? Oh. Okay, well, I don't know how many of those I got, but that could be useful. Let's actually dump Goblin Secret Remedy in hopes that we draw the uh, the uh, Great Moth combo before he does. That'd be pretty funny. Ooh, powering up some more, huh? Nice. Well, Mesmeric Control is definitely going to go off here. Another Hercules Beetle. Wow. Okay. Alrighty, Weevil. Alrighty, then. So what's this one at? 17, that's funny. This one's at 19. Okay. Uh, well, that might help. Ooh, this brings out Crushed Terrain, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Hmm. Now, I'll dump uh, the power up, and I'll play Law Book. All right. This gives me a second battle phase. I mean, not really, but it does let me summon again. Such a weird event. Uh, that didn't... Oh, actually, I was getting ready to say, that didn't really help, but it actually did. All right, I fuse a Griggle with Medgaris Light. They I bet he did need that. Gruel's the Dragon. All right, so we can attack this one. Cybersaurs. Time for some more 
cybernetic action. Digimon, digital monster, Digimon are the champions. Change into a copy of the strike in the digital world. Yeah, in last episode I said reincarnate something around. Nice. Nice one. Uh, the forest almost panned up there. It looked pretty cool there. Um, but yeah, what level is Metal Greymon for the rank? Oh, it's one lieutenant. Wow. Uh, okay. Right. I guess something I should have done is move my deck leader forward to get the same type friendly buff. It's okay, though. It's all good. Now it's time for Iron Reaver, Soul Stealer. Just kidding. We're gonna play a little t a game called Tag. This game's like the game paintball. What do you mean? Ah, but remove the team. I don't get it. Oh, I get it. I hate you. I hate you both. <laughs> man, I've been watching some DBZ at Bridge lately, man. <laughs> Just so many jokes. <laughs> My name's Goku. I'm insane. From Earth. He means Saiyan. <laughs> oh, he got the combo first. Congratulations, Weevil. Nicely done, amigo. I mean, I'm gonna make you run over that, but you did beat me to the punch. Even though I had Solomon's Law, but it's pretty funny. Ooh, nice, nice. Um. Can I win this turn? Not quite. We can do quite a big chunk of damage, though. Um, yeah, so let's move Quagar. And next turn, no matter what, TF, Tremendous Fire, baby. It's like Cowboy for Game, except with a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Deck Masters. All right, and we'll move up here with Rosie, and yeah, nice. A little more experience for her, let's end the turn. Run it over, baby, yeah. Alright, he's probably gonna take down Cybersaurus, but yeah, yeah. He finally got the giant flea. Ah, you blood sucking leech on life. Let the bean! Oh man, that looks painful. I'm sorry, Metal Grey, but oh, he turned blue! Oh, he's sick! No! Don't worry, I'll put you back in your Pokeball and take you to the doctor. <laughs> it's almost like we got a shiny Metal Greymon there for a half second. You damn one. Monster, how dare you do that to my Metal Greymon. I'm going to have to check that back out in editing. That honestly looked pretty cool. Okay, so I'll probably attack with Rosie just to get the most EXP. Now let's see. Oh, okay. I can get a direct attack from the deck leader. That honestly sounds a little better. So let's move here. And... Rosie, D thing, direct attack, baby. Nice. All right. Nice and quick. That's kind of how I wanted that door to go. Yeah, we did not have the best hand to start, but after Metal Greymon, things got rolling. He is definitely our spirit carrier. All right, three in a row time. Okay, let's see what's in here. I guess I'll go for the forest. Well, no, let's go for another cocoon, honestly. Yeah, I think I only have one, so... Oh, I missed. Okay. okay. Got it. Okay, force cards next. Missed it by one, but we did get a power up. I don't know if I have all of that power up, so. Yeah, I missed the force card. I think I might already have three fours, so maybe I did the right thing. I don't know. We're about to reincarnate, so I'm about to find out either way if I went for the right card or not. Okay, so when I have two on the wins. I'm able to reincarnate. You know, normally I just reset all my losses. Uh, that way it makes, makes it a lot easier to reincarnate. You know, if I'm playing this, you know, as a kid or by myself. Oh, we got another cocoon. Oh, we have five cocoon cards. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. How many forest cards do we have? Uh, I'm just curious. In case I do a Weevil some more. Um, we have three. Okay, so we're good. Uh, let's, yeah, reincarnate something, like I said, around... Even a gate attack might work. Uh, Needle... Uh, sorry, 
we got. Let's do basic insect. This has a good chance of getting a squiggle. Uh, did I save? I think I did. And if I didn't, no big deal. Uh, bat. That's a low level dark death chaos machine. I don't think it has an effect. Petite moth. We want a plant. Did not get one. We did get a female card though. Mm, should I reset this? What's your effect, Bat? <laughs> the Jigen Bagadon support, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, let's reset. Dancing Elf is good, and that is only our second one. Um, maybe I should keep Dancing Elf as a female. Now, we want plants, though, for the, uh, for the zombie stuff. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I saved after Dueling Weevils, so... Let's, let's reset, and I'll try... Maybe I'll try Negate Attack this time. Uh, hopefully I saved, because if not, I just wasted a whole lot of time, and this is about to be a bonus episode. I'm pretty sure I saved, though. Pretty sure. Um, I did, sweet. Okay. Alright, so let's look at the deck class cards again. Yeah. Okay, so let's go for... Maybe I should do Bear Trap. Yeah, we got like nine of it, the max amount. Okay, let's try Bear Trap for like Wriggle. What's that? Red <laughs> Medicine. Okay, sometimes you have fake traps with this though, so that's not good. Uh, what is that? Seal of the Ancients? Wow, I feel like that's a pretty rare drop. Um, what's this card do anyway? Seal of the Ancients. Pretty interesting reincarnation though. It's a trap? Full range. Permanent traps that triggers against any ritual card and nullifies the effects? I never even knew this card was in the game, bro. That is hilarious though. Um, you know what? I'll keep it. I will keep it. Mm, I'll definitely keep it, actually. That is hilarious. I never even knew this card would work like that in this game. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's switch decks. Let's go with the uh, Seeking deck. Let's get out of here. Wow. Seal of the... Only I would get such a rare reincarnation. Huh. That I've never seen before. That's crazy. Like, I played this game a lot as a kid and stuff. You would think I would know, you know, just about every card, but, uh, no, that's, that's a new one, man. Okay, yeah, we are major, so we can go against Rex, so do this, and then next, I'll probably switch to the main deck, and we'll go against, uh, I'm thinking Darkness Ruler, if we got time, if we got time, if not, that'll be the end of the episode, no prize. Alright, so we got the reincarnation. I'm, wow, I'm, I'm definitely glad I reset though. Like, Seal of the Ancients, that is. Ooh, I can show you guys. Okay, this is why I want more plants in this deck. Check it out. Plant plus uh, zombie. I'm King, arise from the grave. Yeah, you can fuse for pumpkin in addition to the ones you got. So, pretty good. Pretty good. Alright, then we'll move Pumpkin here. I'm sure it can take whatever Rex is throwing at us there. Um, that's honestly a good combo. Castle plus June Skull. That's pretty good, yeah. Uh, let's send Paralyzing Potion. No, screw it. You know what? Let's just get Castle out right now. I'll put Castle in the same spot I usually put Maiden of the Aqua. Or the, uh, Cocoon combo. So, yeah. There's Castle of Dark Illusion. All fiends are a word of power of 500. I'm surprised we haven't seen Panic play this yet, or fuse with it. Normally he does it quite a lot, uh, if he's playing a lot of monsters, you know. Seems to be one of the first monsters he prioritizes for bringing out, but uh, yeah, we actually haven't seen it yet, but I mean, to be fair, we have only dueled him you know, a handful of times, like th two or three times. So. Yeah. I remember as a kid, though, like, he would almost always play that card first, as his first monster card. Rock Blast! Boom! Boom! You might have think, thought my pumpkin would smash, but now you'll taste the deadly zombie. Slow motion. 
slow motion for me slow motion for me um i like it like that when you work in that back i don't know how to act fucking okay, fine slow motion for me <laughs> oh man i swear i have too much fun with this game right, there you go what now rex ending the turn huh all right go forth pumpkin Nice monster to get really early. Uh, let's go from here. Ooh, good card. Okay. So I'll send this up north. It can uh, spell mine for three turns, whatever engages it in battle. So probably move castle here. Switch to defense. All right. Let's see if you can out my pumpkin. Turn one combo, Ritz. Oh, run over your own card. Yeah. Ooh, feels bad, man. Feels bad. All monsters. Go, pumpkin. Nice. All right. Shadow. Shadow the Hedgehog. Go for it. Uh, I guess I can play uh, Paralyzing Potion. No, no, no. Let's play Paralyzing Potion over here. Just have it go for it. Pretty good card, honestly, for 15 deck costs. And Eternal Spell Bound. Pretty good. Going for the shadow, which this isn't gonna work. Running? Why are you running away, Simon Logic? You are now paralyzed. I'm not paralyzed, but I will, will be struck by you. Uh, let's switch to defense for a turn. So I plan to just go two moves here, and whatever he plays next, I'll switch to defense. And to back up shadow, I will summon the Tune Skull. I should just wait. Yeah, maybe I should just wait and see what he does on either side. So I may actually need Toon Skull to take the same path as Pumpkin and come around here. Yeah, let's just wait and see what happens. Okay, I expected that. Yeah. Alright. Okay. So Pumpkin will down hand points. Let's go. Let's wait till Pumpkin gets like. Nah, screw it. You know what? Let's just end the duel if we can. Yeah, Crawling Dragon. With that, folks, the duel is over. Because, uh, yeah, the other way to win, of course, is to box your opponent in. I was thinking about trying for the turn count, but nah. Yeah. These monsters are relatively weak compared to what he normally puts up, so, yeah, and that can't reach his deck leader or help out. So, let's move there. And let's make an extra summon. Let's summon the Tune Summon Skull. Sure. Yeah, get that EXP, buddy. All right. And we win. So, yeah, because he's trapped. And he cannot summon. So, I guess I could have had Shadow attack his life points, but kind of doesn't matter. Saves us on time, you know. It's all good. <laughs> Yeah, I think I got time for another one. These duels have gone by quickly. Ah, Pumpkin has been promoted quickly. We, like, literally just get this guy. Alright, let's see here. Let's go for a three in a row. Raised body heat kind of stands out, so... Okay, I missed it, but practical. I see practical. Oh, okay, this is our shot. So close, man. Oh, man. Ah, so close for the three in a row. Ah, I want to get something epic, man. Like a red eyes black dragon. It's all good, though. <laughs> Practical still, it's an okay dino. Not the top tier, but it looks pretty cool. Alright, so who'd I say we were going to duel? Uh, the, uh with the Maiden of Aqua. Uh, did I say... Excuse me, did I say... Darkness Ruler? I don't remember. Oh, you know what's really funny? I think I still have a fake trap in my deck. Maybe in between episodes for the Maiden of the Aqua deck, I'll actually uh, swap that out for Seal of the Ancients. Because that, if that ever negates anything in this game, that's going to be really funny. Okay, yeah, so we've only done him three times... Uh, and yeah, Necromancer, well, technically only twice. 
well, in that case, yeah, let's go after Necromancer because, yeah, the other one was just like, you know, me finding out, uh, scouting to see if I could even do this in the ranking challenge yet, and I just surrendered, but I, I forgot that I saved, yeah, instead of went, going to the title screen, so. But you guys saw all that in the bonus episode. Let's see what our hand is. Not bad, Kageding, and, um... In the turn. Okay, what you got? No power ups. Okay. Slightly encouraging. Okay. I think what I'll do is I will Kage Ningen right here. Actually, huh. Smarter plan. I could Aki Hiran since I waited a turn. Aki Hiran right here. Move our leader. Close to Aki Huron. Not bad. 2600 for our first summit. Not bad. Especially since he didn't use any fusion. Huh. Since he didn't use any power ups, we should be able to beat whatever this is. Uh, trying to sidestep. But... Alright, alright. Um, let's move here. Yeah. And then we will. Kage Ningen probably will. That works. Um, no, yeah, let's Kage Ningen. Alright. Kage into this. Skell God. I should have known that, because he did fuse, but yeah, pretty good card. Now we know for sure, though, what its sets are. And I guess we'll get to see its uh, attack back, so there's that. Interesting. Okay. Alright, let's see how Skell God attacks in this game. Alright, sorry, Kage Ningen. I had to find out what's going on. Alright, Scale God's attack. Is it going to be better than Forbidden Memories? Oh, quick attack, basically. Yeah, it's kind of going in slow motion for the slash. Quick attack? Eh, not bad. Alright. So he's at 27. I guess one, if it moves here to Kage Ningen, it will be a lot weaker though. Uh, yep, this is just in the turn. Go ahead. Okay, no power ups. That's a good sign. Uh, ah, going down that way. That's kind of smart, honestly. Considering I have Aki Hiron right here. Uh, 22. Hmm, 22 with my deck leader ability. So it'd only be at 21, right? 13. 13 plus 4, 17. That would actually uh, cause a draw. And honestly, I think I'm okay with that, considering he powered this card up. So, <laughs> once again, the power of the, uh, yeah, the leader in the turn the tide combo. So we're now gonna tie. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> on a six-star monster that he fused into. All we have to do is normal king attack. That's awesome, bro. Nice. All right. I'm gonna get a drink here. Nice little chill episode. We are close to about 20 minutes here, so... Atlantean Legendary Pike. All right, he's gonna counterattack. No, my seeking. <laughs> well, you basically heard him, you know, die off screen there. Alright. Nice. It's so funny how the camera just pans over. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Just a lot more water. I love that. Let's just uh, end the turn. I'll probably attack Kaga Demon, so. Alright. I feel like we got something in my eye here. Uh, armored Zombie. Huh. Yeah, why weren't you moving that twice the whole time, bro? I don't know. That's kind of weird, but. I guess my leader was open, so. 
that kind of does make sense, actually. Because he, he kind of scooted this in front of my leader when I left it open, and then scooted back, so. <laughs> Rapid slash attack, huh? Not bad. <laughs> That's honestly pretty epic there from Armored Zombie. The, uh, the taunt? Pretty epic. something a little forward. Let's summon here. Let's go with... Hmm, if I got a dragon, that would really be pretty cool. I could make a pretty cool fusion that we make a lot in the Yu-Gi-Oh! -Oh! Forbidden Memories. Let's just attack this. With our Pixie Dust attack. You know, this duel's kind of... Yeah, it's, you know... I'm not doing anything too overpowered. I'm not doing anything too underpowered either. You know, it's just kind of... A little bit of back and forth, but this should put us quite a bit ahead. Yeah. Aki Hiran. Man, you keep killing stuff, Aki Hiran. You're gonna get promoted here pretty soon, buddy. I think it already is promoted, but it might become second though. Uh, let's see, what is it? Yeah, it is. Oh, it's already, it might become first lieutenant. That's kind of cool. Let's move here and in the turn. Right. Still no power ups. This is a pretty rare occurrence for uh, bones, but uh, we'll take it. A skull surf. Okay, we might be able to wrap this skull up here, guys. If I get anything that changes the tide. Yeah, because this is now down all the way to what? Uh, oh, a thousand? Yeah. But if I change it to water, then. Oh, no, I did not. Okay. I mean, still, what's funny is I can kill this card with, uh, uh, of all things in my deck, yeah, Rock Ogre Grotto, sure. You know what? I'm never going to see this card probably attack, so get in there, Rock Ogre Grotto. I know we'll take some damage on the crackback, but it's pretty funny that this thing's going to actually defeat something in a battle, when normally all I do is use it for fusing into Stone D. All right, what you got, Rock Ogre? Oh, he's lumbering. Oh, 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 with the spin. The spin mega punch attack. I love it. Nice combo, bro. That was a pretty funny looking attack. Victory detected. Game on. Nice job, Grotto number one. <laughs> yeah, really spun him right around like a record right there. All right, let's move here and end the turn. What you got, Bones? Rains. Rains, rains. So far he hasn't changed any of his types either like he normally does. Oh my god. Well, good thing he... Yeah, messed that up. I guess we'll see what he accidentally sent to the graveyard here. Uh, what was it? Nightmare Scorpion? Yeah, sure. That wasn't going to beat my grotto anyway. Uh, we got Metal Scorpion. Which doesn't really do anything. One thing I can do though with it is, uh, uh, you know, uh, use the uh, my advantage on the AI. I can actually run with Rock Ogre, and I think I will. Yeah, because if he comes in here toward the sea, that's honestly good for me. But uh, by playing that at zero, he may just attack us, uh, even if it's something really weak. You know that he probably shouldn't attack. So, oh, it's Scale Gone. That's decent. That's decent. It's a decent monster, but we've already seen Skelgon attack quite a bit of times in this episode, so we're going to skip this one here. But the bait did work, so that's good. Okay, we're still recording. Oh, there's a power-up. Yeah, okay, we got to watch out for whatever card that is. Uh, okay. And that is a dark energy. Let's see if I get anything that's good here. Attacker can defeat some of his cards, but this got a power up, so maybe not. I could upgrade to Amphibious Bedrock, but I don't think I want to. Uh, Aqua Chorus is good, though. Could do it now for extra damage, but I think I'm gonna save it, you know. Stay disciplined, and we'll just uh, move in defense. 
Let's try to use our leader as bait. And we'll just destroy Skelgon again with Akihiran. Akihiran too strong. <laughs> Alright, let me check on something over here. Stun Spore! Yes, Skelgon can actually fuse into some higher form dragons. Uh, if you have the right cards in this game anyway, pretty cool that it can do that. And of course you can get it to eat it easily with the dragon zombie and any other zombie really. That's, you know, below 1700. Pretty cool. What you got, Bones? No more power-ups, that's good. Uh, why did he do that? Uh, Bones, buddy, um, I know you Gale players can't read, but, but, um, are you okay? Do you need, a? Uh, do you need help? I can help you, I mean, you don't have to, you know, kamikaze like that, bro. You saw my attack points. What are you, what are you thinking? What are you boying? What are you selling? Yeah, Aki Aaron's gonna get promoted for sure. <laughs> Especially if the AI's <laughs> throwing its own monsters in there. Oh man, that was, that was weird. I've seen a lot of weird stuff from the AI over the years, but... That might take the cake, I don't know. Um, it's down to 600, I guess. Dark Hole! Ah, yeah. So Bones does have this card, despite, despite it being like a, a, a really low deck cost deck. Yeah, this guy does have Dark Hole, and he's not afraid to use it. Unfortunately for him, it's gonna cost him the game. So what I'm gonna do is move forward, and I'm actually gonna attack with Rock Ogre Grotto number two. 